A bye week for Northwestern, but definitely making some news. And this all goes back to Saturday when 28 players nationally, including Wildcat quarterback Kane Coulter, scrawled the letters APU on various pieces of equipment. Now, we later learned that APU stood for All Players United, which is an effort to raise awareness about issues that are important to college football players nationally. Coulter did not speak about it on Saturday after the game. He did today, however. Here's what he had to say. Came up with the APU idea, All Players United, and it just turned out that, that this week was a week that um, we decided to do it. And um, guys from around the nation did it, and you know, a few guys on, on our team did it. It wasn't just me, I know. Oh, who else some, did it? Uh, I'm not going to name their names, but you know, a handful of guys did it. And, um, it wasn't just an individual thing, and I yeah. feel like people you know, shouldn't take it as an individual message. It's a, it's a sign of unity and not individuality. It's a sign of players coming together all over the nation, not just football players, basketball players, you know, tennis players, to being able to have our, our opinions heard and, and our needs met um, instead of having to go through a middleman, having to go through the coaches, having to go through administration, athletic directors. We should have, you know, I feel like the right to, to voice our opinions and, and uh, you know, I feel like we're educated, we're articulate enough to, to voice our concerns and, and how we feel it needs to be addressed. It's tough to to ask permission to be able to do something just because there's, there's a chance it could get shot down. And the whole APU thing, it goes against having to ask permission to voice our opinions. And uh, I know that he felt a little bit blindsided by it. Well, you guys have both been head coaches, so I'm interested in your take. Do you think that a player needs to ask his coach permission before he does something like what Kane Coulter and he says some of his teammates did? Yeah, I'm not sure permission's the, the right word. I, I don't know the answer to that. I, here's how I would feel as a coach. I'd feel really disappointed in myself. I would feel like the players don't trust me. I would feel, what about my leadership council? I had a leadership council, Chuck, way back before mm -hmm. they were popular. I, I mean, an open dialogue between players and coaches. So I, I, I would blame myself for this. I, I would say I must be coming up short. If a player thinks I'm going to say no for no good reason, well, then, you know, they don't think anything of my opinion. They don't trust me. And, and so I, I think that I would say, you know, we'll deal with, with the cause when they want to deal with it. But we have a bigger problem on this team. If a team of a member of a team is going to do something like that without discussing it, that's a bigger problem for the team as opposed to the cause that they're fighting. Uh, should they have a say? Are these all good things for the players? Absolutely. Uh, but I'd be disappointed in myself as a coach. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, and maybe they had dialogue in the offseason. You know, those are offseason discussions, in my opinion, and have a, a formulated plan going along with what you're saying, Jerry. Formulate a plan on, on how to say it, when to say it. Uh, I'm I'm a little bit old school. I, I like those things. Hey, when it's football season, you play your football, and then and you you discuss those things and maybe get it out there in the off season. That's just my that's just right. old school. I'm not saying that works today with the players, but there must have been some dialogue or miscommunication in the off season going back to that for this to come out, you know, as such a surprise now. And I think the teaching moment here might be, and that's the phrase everybody uses now, when you say that the APU is against asking permission, the APU should be for something, not against something. Right. So whether whether the APU gets what they want with or without the coach's help shouldn't be all that important. The, the end result is so I think the players should open their minds up that most coaches would advocate for them. And most coaches could help you. I would leave it up to the team. If the team wanted to do it, I would write it on my wrist. I would say, what about not coming out second half if we really want to make a statement? I mean, the, the, the teaching moment is to help them learn how to protest in the right way. And that what's interesting is Pat Fitzgerald spoke about it today, and he essentially said just that. He said, I'm quoting here, I'm fully in support of what he's doing, meaning Kane, but I'd like to see it be in the team structure. In other words, mm -hmm. Let's deal with this as a group. But again, you know, you understand Kane's point of view of, hey, we're trying to make a statement. The, the, you know, the other part of the equation is the players. What, what about if I'm a player who doesn't want to do this? Some of the Georgia Tech players have already come out and said they don't want to do it. So it's not just about the coaches. What about your teammates? You do you not respect their opinion when you do something like this?